in Kyalsozi Parish, we have St. Joseph uh, Hill Secondary School. We did have started it, but the district has not taken it as its commitment, but it's in the making. I was a parish priest of a very large parish of Butiti at one time, and when the Holy Cross Fathers were given by the Bishop Karasozi to start, it was at this point when I was with Brother Cleos Kilmahendo and Father James Barasa, and we had this vision of starting a school in an area where hardly anyone was going to a senior school. And we dedicated the school to St. Joseph. One of the parents gave us the idea of calling it St. Joseph Hill because this place is on a hill. And when we started with practically nothing, actually we started with nothing, and to see how the school has grown in the last uh, four or five years, it's really incredible. In this area of Kiambogo, there are very few students are coming from this area, but now we have over 350 students, and at least 140 of them are girls. And since we began the school, those who have finished, we have about 50 girls who have finished senior school, and they, of course, are the most educated women in this whole area. To give a brief history about this school, this school started uh, way back in 1996, and uh, the bit of land we started on was given to us by the church, and that was about two acres of land. And, uh, the primary school up here uh, gave us two classrooms in which to start off and uh, basically we didn't have any office. The office was the tree, as the first headmaster I used to use the office, as it, uh, the tree was my office, that's where I used to conduct all the school business. And um, we conducted a fundraising in 1970, uh, coming to 1997. Uh, and the first building that was started by the parents were, was a block with two classrooms. Uh, currently we have about 350 students and uh, the faculty of the teachers about 20. And we have a number of structures or facilities that most other schools do not have here in Kienjojo district, like the library which is well stocked. We have books that at least children can go in and read and do their research and private study. Then we have a laboratory for science practicals. And we have a main hall, this one here, which is necessary for examinations. And we also use it during functions. We wouldn't be able to run the school just by the school fees they pay, but Father Richard Potters uh, does augment that by putting on all the other funds that we need, like for building the infrastructure and also for paying the teachers' salaries. I like the zeal and the cooperation, especially the efforts that Dick was putting in with the few Holy Cross members that happen to be this side. Fortunately, the school is doing well. So that's one of the biggest changes in this area is the fact that so many now young kids or young boys and girls are being educated to a much higher level than they had been. And of course, this is going to change this whole area in the years to come. <laughs>